Okay, everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante with Jeff Kelly. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube, where we go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. We're in a very tight time frame here. The keynotes ran over. Dan Jewett is here. The reason why the keynotes ran over because there was so much applause every time that, that, uh, that Tableau announced a new feature, the audience would stand up, kind of interrupt the conference. I had the applause meter on, Dan. I would say that calendar control got a slightly you know, bigger applause than copying and pasting dashboards between workbooks, but I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, well <laughs> it's funny that um, the audience reacts really emotionally to a lot of the things we're adding to the product. I think that's a good testament to what we're trying to focus on and make their lives better and their lives easier. So the two items that you talked about are really productivity improvements for the author, for the analyst who's working on their content. The applause meter might have gotten switched off a, a little bit early, right at the end of the release, or at the end of the keynote, we announced the uh, Macintosh version that we're working on. Right, we're and excited uh, about that here yeah. at SiliconANGLE Wikibon. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the reception there, as we expected, was through the roof. People yeah. are very excited about bringing Tableau out to the uh, additional devices. All right, well, congratulations on that. <laughs> Great conference, congratulations on a blockbuster IPO. You guys you know, got it all going for you, but um, let's talk a little bit about roadmap. Um, yeah. You talked in the sessions about uh, 8.1 and 8.2 this year. Correct. 9.0 coming out. Give us the high level overview. I know we only have about five minutes. Yeah, great. So the, the roadmap, one of the things we're trying to do is keep the cadence really, really high. Keep the drumbeat moving and get lots of releases and give lots of opportunities to get the new capabilities out to, uh, to our customers. So we're working on 8.1, which is a release for us that'll be targeted for Q4. 8.2 is a release, that's where the Macintosh will be, uh, along with some of the other storytelling features that we talked about today. That'll be wrapped around the corner of the new year in Q1, and we plan on just keeping the cadence going. Now that we've got another product in the mix called Tableau Online, which is our, uh, our cloud-based analytics product, uh, it gets very important to keep feeding that monster and keep new capabilities always available there. Some of the highlights we had in version 8.1 here was really a lot of things around personal productivity, things around helping the individual analysts do deeper analytics. We've got box and whisker charts, we've added some more capabilities around our forecasting, predictive bands, uh, all good things to help the analysts be able to drive those stories out of their data. Yeah, for you guys, the center of the universe is what you call the viz, yes. right? And it's the storytelling around the viz and the yes. features that you've, you've introduced really help explode that story to the, to the user base. Yes. And, and so, uh, my question to you is, is um, how do you determine where to focus? You know, you got a, you got a lot of things in your plate, right. a lot of priorities going on, you're now a public company, how do you prioritize? Yeah, well, it, you spend a lot of time at events like this talking to your customers. We've got a great customer base, they are very happy to tell us what they think and what they like, and you know, we, we, we hit a few good strokes today with the applause meter that uh, seems like we've done the right things. It's fundamentally, you look at what customers are asking you to do, you try and divine out what the things to do to help them move forward. Um, you mentioned the storytelling aspect. For us, that's a really important thing. The analytics doesn't happen in a silo. You're always either selling some ideas you have from uh, working with your data, or you're telling um, stories and explanations around what happened with the data. So to be able to focus and highlight on that and extend those capabilities is really important for us. And keep in mind, the storytelling is not always a verbal medium. A lot of times you read it, and you need guided analytics to help the reader work through that process. And that's the angle we're taking I on I wonder it. if you could comment on something. One of the things I didn't see, and it may, may be there, I just mm -hmm. didn't see it, uh, I had to leave a little early to get back mm -hmm. here, is, is the hard problem of, of text analytics, you know, yes. that, all that unstructured data. Is that something that you guys got your best people working on, and, and what can you share with us about that? Yeah, we do. We don't have any particular announcements around text analytics ourselves today. It's obviously a topic that's very interested in us. For us, you know, we talk often about our mission is to help people see and understand data. We don't distinguish big data, little data, text data, structured data. For us, all data is important. The, the world for us today around the text analytics side of thing really centers around a lot of our partners. So we've done a lot of great things. Uh, it, you know, if you happen to be in DC today, you can come see a lot of our great partners at our Expo Hall. But if not, um, we've announced some new relationships with uh, Informatica and SyncSort, and we've got great existing partners like Ativio and MarkLogic who are all in the mix, and they all help with the text analytics part of the story. Right. Um, Dan, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about some of the features around, uh, kind of the enterprise grade features around security, yep. uh, scalability, things like that. Obviously, uh, you know, since you've gone public, 
Um, you know, Wall Street is looking for some significant growth mm -hmm. from you guys. I think you're up to about 13,000, 14,000 customers. Yep. But that clearly leaves quite a few more. Uh, yes. There's there's a huge opportunity for you, but I think a lot of that is going to depend on your ability to really provide those enter enterprise grade features. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your approach to that side of the product? Yeah, great. So the enterprise uh, scaling up to larger deployments and enterprise accounts is obviously a very important thing for us. We've already had pretty good traction on that front and we have some great successes there. In this release, we've talked about a couple of things um, around uh, kind of the notion of security and authentication. So we've done some things to help wire up and connect to SAML providers for single sign-on, which is obviously a real important topic for enterprise organizations. They don't want to have to have too many of those pesky passwords and usernames that they're managing around the, the solution. We've added capabilities around uh, supporting wiring into bigger infrastructures around the notion of external load balancers so you can scale the Tableau system even higher. Um, we've now made the whole stack end-to-end -end 64 bit, so we get the benefit of enhanced memory addressing that helps scalability at the server side. Um, we didn't talk about, the, about it in the keynote today, but we're adding support for IPv6. Uh, we know a lot of the government accounts that we work yep. with are very interested in moving to IPv6 networks, so um, all of those big ticket items and those big important things from a infrastructure side, we continue to put energy on and we continue to knock down and help uh, mm -hmm. uh, expand in those deployments. Very All good. right, Dan, I know you got to go. We appreciate you doing the drive-by here. It's yeah, great to meet absolutely. you. Absolutely. Gentlemen, uh, good thank luck. you very much. All right, everybody, keep you. it right there. Uh, Bruce Boston is up next from Apple, and uh, we're going to talk about how they're using Tableau. So keep it right there, we're right back. This is theCUBE. We're live from the Tableau Customer Conference. See you in a minute. All right.